Well, yes. We don't nothing know. created everything. That's scientifically impossible. Nothing is nothing. It cannot create anything. Most of the physicists okay. of current day believe okay. that the universe had a cause, even though we don't know what it was. And we, you expect us to take your word, great comfort, that it's a God, that that's a more likely to be true explanation? Now, it's so nice to hear that most of those physicists believe there was an initial cause. Some don't. Some believe nothing created everything, which is a scientific impossibility. It's a hypothesis, Ray. But that's why atheists are so foolish to believe nothing created everything. Most physicists believe there was an initial cause, which is what you're saying is right. We're going to have a discussion or we're not going to talk. Do you call me foolish? I'm leaving, okay? I didn't call you foolish. You did. I said atheists are foolish. Bye. Okay. Come on. You come back. Okay. I am thin skinned for people who miseducate the public, dude. If you have an intuition that causes you to believe something that is untrue and you teach it to the next generation, that is socially irresponsible and you are doing harm. So you are comparing your judgment in what created the universe to the majority of the educated physicists in 2018. I'm is that agreeing what you're with them. They say there was an initial cause. I say exactly the same thing. There was right. an initial cause. The problem is you don't stop there. You put God in that slot. Of course I do. There you go. That's your problem. That is not a justified step. 91% of Americans put God in there. 91% of Americans are not educated in physics. They are agreeing with the physicists that there was an initial cause, and I agree too. There's nothing wrong with the that. The most likely to be true people are those who are educated within a field. Well, where well, did conscience come from? We don't know, Ray. You don't know. We don't know, Ray. You don't know. You can't say the whole of humanity doesn't know where conscience comes from. I've been studying this for 10 years. We don't know. Do you study neurology? And yeah, how the brain I study works? brains. Okay. I talk to people with brains and I study what they say all that, the time. Wow. <laughs> okay. Do you have a college education? Nice to see you smile. You, you stating that I believe something does not make it true. It makes you sound crazy, frankly. How old do you think the universe is? I have no idea. How would I know that? Okay. Be honest, we'll Ray. Just, no, we'll let it go. We'll so let, let me go. ask you, how old do you believe it is? The Earth? Yes. 4.5 billion. Yeah. Hey, you that have is blind not faith blind. in those educated in the field. That is not blind, Ray. It is blind. You'll change it in the next hundred years. It's changed about a dozen times in the last hundred years. Science tries to improve, refine, and correct. That is a good thing. It is a more valuable thing than any volume of faith, high or low. So you don't know how old the Earth is because they're going to change it in a few years, as they always do. Wow, are you deaf too? Come on. So you believe the Earth is 4.5 billion years old. That's your blind belief because you believe the guys that got the education. I don't talk in circles. I'm done. Okay, thank you.